Hello everyone. Have you ever thought that your camera follow is kind of boring? Well, if I tell you that you can have this dynamic one in a matter of minutes using Cinemachine. In this tutorial, I will show you how to set it up in no time and we will play with the settings to manipulate the camera movement. Let's head into it. First, as usual, head to Window, Package Manager, Unity Registry and install the Cinemachine package. When it's installed, then head to Hierarchy, right click, Cinemachine and add a virtual camera. Now if you check out the main camera, you can see a Cinemachine brain component and there is a camera icon as well. It means the camera is controlled by the Cinemachine brain from now on and it's linked to the virtual camera. At the virtual camera, there is a lot of settings where we'll modify our camera behavior. First we have a follow camera and a look at camera. What is the difference? The follow camera will follow the transform we select. It will move with it, while the look at only changes its rotation, so it's perfect for a security camera aiming at something. So I just drop my player to the follow field. At the body, we need to select the frame transposer and set the aim to do nothing. We won't need it right now. With these default settings, just press start and it already feels much better than before. But let's play with these settings. At the top, enable the game window guide. It will allow us in the game window when the camera is selected, these guides will be visible. Under that, also an important one, if you check the save during play option and press start and modify these values and exit play mode, it will save these settings and won't set these values back to the original one. Now I set everything to zero and have a basic camera, press play and start moving. It's like a standard camera, instantly follows our player. So let's modify these values here. We can set something called dead zone. If I increase these, then there is an area appears in the middle. This is the dead zone. So when I move with the player, it won't follow it in the dead zone. But once I reach the end of the dead zone, the camera immediately starts to follow the player. But if we want it to be a little smoother follow, not just following it immediately, then we have something called damping. I just set them a little higher just for demonstration and as you can see it has a little delay following the player once it reaches the edge. I will use the value of 1. Ok, what else can we do? Right now when we move we can't really see where we are going so it would be nice if we could see more in the direction we move. The look ahead, as the name implies, is for that exactly. If I increase the look ahead time when I move with the character, the follow point will move in front of the character. But just like before, quite instant, where we can smooth this movement too with a look ahead smoothing slider. If I set a high value, the camera will slowly move ahead, but this look ahead is a little annoying when we jump. I don't really want the camera to move upwards or downwards. We can check this box called ignore Y and it won't move the camera upwards or downwards. Awesome! And finally, the soft zone width and height. But you can decrease it if you need to limit the look ahead at a certain point, but to be fair, I've never really needed to use this one before. So that's it for this video. In the next one, we will make our camera to be reactive to our states. For example, if we are running, the camera moves further and when we stop after a small delay, it will zoom in. Also, we will create some boundaries where the camera won't be able to move like the edge of the map. So if you don't want to miss it, then subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video.